Howdy y'all, I'm around the wheel, and you're watching, you know what you're watching, you can see it on the screen there. But before we start playing it, I'm going to talk a little bit. I'm going to talk about a specific kind of person. You might, you might know this person, you might think this person sounds like me, you might think this person is me. This specific kind of person has played Zelda 2 before... And has thought, yeah, it's fun. They played it, they liked it. They had fun on the most basic, fundamental level. But were kind of s barred from truly loving it. And the thing that kept them from really loving it was many, 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 many design decisions that Nintendo chose to make. And it kept them from advancing in the game and really, like, truly embracing and loving it. So that said, that is why we have here... Uh, Zelda 2 Redux. This is a ROM hack. There is a link in the description below. This came out about two months ago. In fact, it came out two months to the day uh, as I'm recording this. This is a quality of life improvement hack for Zelda 2. And I think it's going to make it maybe a little easier, more accurately, a little more balanced. You can already see a few changes on the title screen here. The sword looks different than it does in the original NES version. The scrolling story is a little bit different uh, to reflect uh, as, the, as the list of changes on the romhacking.net website says. It's... The opening scroll here has been changed to reflect more of the uh, actual canon story. Insofar as anyone cares about Zelda canon, I certainly don't. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and start here. We're gonna register our name, and we're gonna get we're gonna get started right away with Zelda Two. There are there are tons of changes that were made to this. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna play through this and see if. Uh, and see if it really significantly improves the experience as much as I'm thinking it will. I have played this game before on my own time. I have beaten it. Uh, not very cleanly, if you get my drift. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's let's go ahead and put in a name here. Alright. And I'm not gonna enumerate all the changes that have been made. Sometimes I'll mention really big ones. Uh, but you can read the list of changes for yourself at romhacking.net. It's in the description below. Uh, it's a pretty prodigious list of changes. There's been a lot. Uh, uh, how do I? How do I end the? How do I end it here? There we go. Okay. Been a while since I registered a name on Zelda 2. So here we go. We're gonna play Zelda 2. We've got three lives to start. You can tell uh, Link's sprite looks a little bit different here. Uh, looks like the beam travels a little farther and faster. You got a nice little HUD up there. You can tell the HUD looks different. Uh, we actually have hearts for a life meter now. And hey, the overworld tiles are animated. That is a Famicom disc thing. So I've always found Zelda 2 easy up to a point. Hey, that looked really pretty. There we go. Get ourselves some uh, nice little experience here. Fight the fight the bits and bots. I believe that's what those little blobs are called. Yeah, that sprite is a lot prettier. Uh, hey, a fairy. Not that I need healed or anything, but uh, you've got your overworld fights. You know how Zelda 2 goes. Oh yeah, that's right. Everything is dark until I get the candle. Uh, but there are still some caves that are pretty easily navigatable because of it. Oh, hey, something. You got something there. Oh, it was one... Oh, 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 I've been... I've been thusly hit. Gotta, gotta watch the ground very carefully if you're going to walk around in, uh... In caves like this. There we go. There we go. Taking a bit of a risk by running around in the dark here, but there's a magic container in here. It'll increase how much magic we can use. There we go. I still remember... I, I'm pretty good about Zelda up through, like, 
the early game, like maybe like the first three dungeons, is how much I can say I'm like definitively good at Zelda. And then beyond that, beyond that, it's a bit of a mess. Uh, we're going to need to go up here later to get a trophy of some kind. And here is a nice little action scene right outside the house. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, I don't have my beam now. Ow, oh, please. Well, this hack has not made bats any easier to deal with. God dang. Good grief. I'm terrible at this. And I just despawned on... No, I didn't. Okay. I'm a big, I'm a big old goofball. Let's take the experience, please. Okay, so we get a defense boost or we can keep going and get... Uh, attack. I don't think it's too important in the early game to have uh, defense. I'm going to go ahead and uh, level up my attack. That's the really important one. Uh, it's pretty easy to get experience at this early point of the game. So that's what I'm going to go for is experience. I'm going to make my way up to 200. All right, we do have to make our way through at least one blind cave, and that's over here to get to the first part. Oh, yeah, we can go here. Let's go to town first. Let's see if there's... Anything different about these towns? Oh, wow. Well, the uh, text boxes move a heck of a lot faster. That's a nice little convenience, actually. Hey, lady. Return the crystal to the temple in Parappa Desert. Go northeast. So you can fit more text in a box now, it looks like. Uh, what's in here? Oh, yeah, you. Not, not... Oh, here we go. Won't you come in? Yes, please. Fill up my life, lady. I will restore your life. Yeah, you will. Excellent. Okay, yeah, I kind of needed that, because I'm a little rusty in these early parts of the game here. Now, somebody's going to come out of a house eventually. Only with a hammer can you break rocks blocking the way. No, I can break blocks with my bare hands, because I'm awesome like that. No, 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 no. Talk to me, stewardess lady. Come to the house and see my grandpa. I think I will. This is... This is the only this is the only town where we get a, a freebie spell. Usually we got to do something for somebody, or do some kind of fancy platforming to get into the house. So let's let's kneel at the feet. Yeah, let's kneel at the feet of the old master. We've got the shield spell. Hooray for us! All right. So and of course we use select, I believe, to cast our spells once we've selected them from the menu. And uh, in the Redux hack, you can use your spells as many times. You don't have to go into the menu and select the spell every time. Like, I could I could cast shield multiple times if I wanted. Uh, just by pressing select after having got it. Okay, so we've got our shield magic. We're moving on. Pretty simple stuff at the beginning here. All right, even the grass is animated. Blowing in the breeze. Blowing freely in the breeze. Hey there, Mr. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, those moblins do give you some experience. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, no, not magic boost, please. We're just gonna keep on moving for now. Okay. Boy, I feel... I feel pretty surrounded, honestly. I used... Did these... Didn't these Moblins used to not give you experience? Like, the orange ones, I think, used to not give you experience at all. So you can kind of level up on easy enemies now. Alright, now, this cave, you absolutely have to go through dark. Not much of a choice. But the beam goes a little farther, so that's nice. Yeah, your beam travels farther and faster. I like it a lot. It's very, very convenient. Well, that was scary, but not really. Okay, so here we go. We're making our way through the desert of disembodied fireballs. Where are the fireballs coming from? Nobody knows. They're just being blown in from off screen by God knows what. I prefer strong enemies in the desert, actually. So you have weak enemies and strong enemies in Zelda 2. Alright. Bridge time. Okay, this is this is always... <laughs> like Krusty says, Oh, this is always death. Uh, pretty much. Gotta be very careful. The, the bubbles like to float up just as you're making an important jump to knock you into the death pit. Like, that one almost got me there. You don't really want to charge ahead too recklessly there doing that. Alright, let's grab ourselves. I think there's a heart container here. Yeah, there we go. But first, let's take care of the gorilla. Oh, God. He knows my shins are my weak spot. Ah, dang it. Those guys actually give semi-decent early game experience. Alright, but we have more life now, so we can deal with things that are in our way a little bit better. So here we go. Let's go back. 
Gotta cross that dang old bridge again. That's that's certainly a thing. All right. Okay. Let's let's cross with caution. You never want to do anything too hastily in Zelda 2. Like that. Whoa, boy, just about just about took an acid bubble on the on the soles of my feet right there. That would have been bad. But here we are at Palace number 1, Parappa Palace, I believe. This is the one. Uh, anything, anything handy dandy for me in the little, no, sometimes those have, sometimes those have full magic restore in them. Not that I need full magic restore, but sometimes they also have an enemy in them too. Okay, these guys I know don't give you an experience. Oh, now they give you two experience. Okay. Wow. Well, as long as they're going to be sending them my way, that's a nice little way to get some. That adds up pretty quickly in the early game here. Whoop. Ha ha ha. I don't think so, sucker. All right, so here we go. I think we're gonna be facing a Stalfos this way. Feels like it took longer to kill that than normal, but maybe it's just been a. Jeez, that was absolutely execrable. That was that was a terrible thing to allow myself to get hit by, especially since it means not means not having my beam energy anymore. My mean beam. Here we go. Doctor Robotnik's mean beam machine. Okay. Alright. Well, I should be up to higher attack pretty quickly. I want that I want that big attack. Nice windows. Although that is a scary looking apocalyptic red sky out there. Alright. This is a pretty short palace, so I feel we can fit it into the first day pretty pretty well. Alright. Yup, yeah, yup. Yeah. And there we go. Found the key, found the door. Puzzle solved. Alright. Oh, God. Oh, there we go. There's my attack boost. I want it. I want the high attack, please. Thank you. I'm getting marauded by walking... Whatever these are. I always thought they were like kangaroos when I was a kid. They just looked like walking, bouncing, happy little kangaroos. So, yeah. You might have noticed uh, the bubble enemy there. Uh, it took a lot less time to kill, but also does not respawn uh, to make it a little more... A little more fair. Uh, okay, so it's 500 to my next bit of attack. I'm going to keep on canceling. I don't need high defense or magic right now. I'm just going to keep on truck a looking along. Okay, we're going to wait for him to come on down the way here. Yeah, normally these guys take like a zillion hits to kill in Zelda. But you see, that didn't take very long at all. And I got a nice little 20 experience out of it, so... So, hooray for that. And I don't think it's going to bother me again. There should be a fairy off to the right here. Not many palaces contain a fairy. But this one does for noobs like me who get hit too much. So, we're going to go up the way here. I did see an elevator going down earlier. We'll go back to it. We'll backtrack in just a second. There we go. Now, as long as I can keep these guys off my case. Okay. <laughs> I'm running away like a little baby. That's awesome. Okay. Yep. Yep. A key sitting right there, just in the middle of the floor. The beam does not seem markedly weaker to me. It's killing enemies in the same amount of hits. It's just... Yeah, as long as I can keep enemies off my back... Oh, yeah. I forgot about him. How did I forget about him? I should have... Okay. There we go. Okay. Yeah. That one doesn't... That one can take a beam to the face all day long. You gotta actually hit this one with your physical sword. Okay, well, uh, lots of free magic refills that I don't actually need. But we've got ourselves another key, so let's keep on moving then. Yep, more, more. I think I always thought of them as kangaroos because they kind of bounce. They have that little bouncy walk. So it's like, yeah, a kangaroo would walk like that if a kangaroo walked in a, you know, semi normal-ish fashion. So let's keep on. Let's keep on keeping on throughout Parappa the Rapper's Palace here. And the bubbles do not respawn. Now that I've killed the bubble for the experience, it shouldn't re Normally it would respawn and I could spend another 12 hours killing it. Man, I remember back in the day uh, when old Brysulf had to like, he had to speed up the video so that he could actually fit it into... No, come to me. Come to Butthead. 
Yeah, we'll we'll go as slow as we need. Times have changed. Technology has changed. I can I can uh I can now take this as slow as I wanna. Okay. I kinda wanna kinda wanna make it come down to me. Yeah, there we go. Well, that was not the smoothest thing. That was not the smoothest butter I ever ate off the stick. Oh yeah, I forgot about fast bubbles, dang. Well, fast bubble. There we go. Pretty easy to get into a holding pattern there. Okay. Now you come to me. That's right. Uh... Ha ha ha. You have been duly manipulated, sir. <laughs> sir or ma'am or whatever. That, I did not deserve to not get hit there. Wow, my sword's reach is still... The sword seems longer, but it's still kind of... I don't know. Pathetic might be the right word there. Disintegrating bridge. Woohoo! Yeah. Grab that bag of pee. That's right. Pee is stored in the bag. So here we go. Let's... Oh. Okay. Did not think it would be you there. Thought we'd be facing off an iron knuckle here. Maybe it's too early in the game for iron knuckle. Boy, there's a lot of detail on that shield for an NES game. There, I can't believe they fit that in there. Oh, there he is. Okay, let's see. Let's see if I still suck at this. Yep, pretty much. Yep, I'm still terrible at iron knuckle fights. So I think I'll spawn in that room though. Yeah, there we go. All right, and I'm not too worried about losing lives this time either. Okay, so there is an easier way to fight Iron Knuckles. Yeah, there we go. If you can kind of hit this little spot above their shield. There we go. And we've got the candle. We should be able to navigate caves now. Not sure why a cave is any darker than a dungeon with no apparent lighting inside, but there you are. So, yeah, we've got the candle. We can now explore caves. It's going to be lit, I, I assure you. <laughs> oh, my God. I deserve to have everything good in my life taken away for that joke. Okay, so let's, all, let's only make little bits of the bridge disintegrate. Somebody might need to use that later. Don't really care too much about getting hit by those guys. Now, okay, yeah, they don't respawn at all, even though I've lost a life. Not as concerned about losing lives... In, in this particular version of Zelda 2 for reasons that should uh, that will become apparent when we when we reach an actual extra life I'll explain more about that later although you can also read about it in the change log so either you can read about it or I'm gonna tell you about it and that's that's how that goes so let's move on down to basement level oh yeah all right we want to use our we want to use our handy dandy improved fighting. There we go. That's how you take out an iron knuckle. That is, that is the master's way of doing. Oh my god! I'm about to lose another dog on life. I need to get that attack up. Let's just stab at his shins. Come on, man. Okay. Well, he's not coming out. Hey, hey, that's what I'm talking about. Let's take that attack boost. So now it's going to be, I think, uh, how much to... Oh, wow. Uh, and I can even get... How much did I get for that? A lot, apparently? Wow, that's quite a bit of experience for that. Okay, so... Alright, we're approaching the boss. Uh, Horsehead is the boss of the first... I'm going to take this right on the chin, I bet. Nope. Actually managed to do it, so... I think I can get this guy pretty okay. It's the iron knuckles that I have trouble with. And I think there's still one, at least one ahead of me. Yeah. So if I can just keep him... Yep, nope. Nope, 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 not doing it. Only one life left. Doing great, Roundy. Doing fantastical. Here we go. Maybe I should use my actual shield magic, huh? That would probably... There aren't many opportunities for life... There we go. That wasn't that bad that time. Boy, it takes a lot of life. I sh should probably work on getting that defense up. I want to get my defense... 
or my attack up at least one more level. Then we'll have it halfway. And then we'll be in really good position for some of the later stuff. So here we go. Shield Ahoy. Get that get that blue tunic going there. Alright. Come toward me. I dare you. I dare you, horse head. I'm ready for you. Okay. Gotta there we go. Oh yeah. Taking off taking off a whole a whole bar per hit. That's that's how we do. That's why well. Not even the blue tunic is gonna save me at this rate. I am... Oh god, I am absolute garbage. So, okay, so the game is still, like, pretty fair. Okay, I think one more... Oh my god. Jeez! Boy, I made that suspenseful. Holy cow. There's the key. No more enemies. And now, uh, what's my next... Is there anything about experience? Yeah, a thousand to the next. So I am going to take this crystal. Some people like to save them for a next level up. But uh, in this case, I'm going to take it because it's going to give me attack. I think it's going to take me up to the next. There is an, There are a lot of optional patches for this. Uh, that, uh, that give you a set amount of experience for each palace crystal. But I'm going to keep it to where... It goes up to just whatever the next level is, and uh, and if I and if I want something else, then I'll then I'll hold on to the crystal, come back to it another time. But I am gonna take that attack boost, get that level four attack, and I need to get my happy butt on out of here. So we have the candle, we beat the first palace, and that is the first day of Zelda ing. So join us next time. When we, uh, when we keep on with this Zelda 2 Redux hack, it's already a lot of fun, I think.